The 80-20 Rule Explained In 1906, Vilfredo Federico Damaso Pareto, an Italian economist and philosopher, made a profound discovery. He discovered that 80% of the properties in Italy was owned by only 20% of the population. It's told that Pareto also found similar patterns across other areas of his life. For example, it's been said that he noticed that only around 20% of the pea pods in his garden generated 80% of healthy pea pods. He delved even further to discover that around 80% of production often comes from around 20% of the companies. Based on this rule, there have been the following generalizations. 80% of results will come from just 20% of work. 80% of sales will come from just the top 20% of the sales reps. 80% of total profits are generated by 20% of customers. 80% of software crashes come from 20% of the most reported software bugs. Andy would agree that on a personal level, you only get to use a few apps on your phone, thus spending 80% of your time on only 20% of the apps on your phone. Since its discovery, the 80-20 rule, otherwise known as Pareto's principle, has gained widespread popularity in its application and effectiveness. The 80-20 rule is being applied in multiple industries, from college students who want to study better to businesses who want to ramp up their profitability. Familiarizing yourself with this principle and applying it in your life can help you become more productive. It is without a doubt one of the best ways to transform your results with less effort. Does this sound too good to be true? Does this mean you could work less and earn more? Well, let's find out. This video will guide you through gaining an in-depth understanding of how the 80-20 principle works. Let's get started. What is the 80-20 rule? As earlier stated, the 80-20 rule states that 80% of your output or results is generated by 20% of your input of efforts. The dynamics of this rule is not constant and could vary from individual to individual. In some cases, 90% of the results may be generated by 10% of the effort, or 70% of the results could come from 30% of the efforts. This uneven distribution and imbalance between efforts and results does not in any way mean that life is unfair. Rather, it reveals that you can transform your entire life by channeling your efforts into the right aspects of your life. Most of the work you do only generates a small amount of your overall results. If your goal is to become more productive, then you should be revved up to identify and focus on growing that 20% which accounts for 80% of your results. Doing this will allow you to streamline your tasks to target the most productive aspects of your life. This does not also downplay the importance of the remaining 80% of your efforts. The remaining 80% of your efforts are not irrelevant. You're only spending too much time on them. The 80-20 rule can be applied in virtually every industry and scenario. For example, Joe is a small restaurant owner who discovered that most of his sales happen in the evenings between 7 to 9 p.m. Instead of trying to run promos during the day, Joe may decide to extend his closing time by one hour to potentially get more from his peak hours. You may have also heard successful people say that if they had two hours to chop down trees, they'd spend the first hour sharpening their axes. Most people will go ahead and start cutting down trees without checking to see if their axe is blunt. In less than two hours, they would have exerted a significant amount of energy without producing significant results. On the flip side, someone who focused on sharpening their axe will exert less energy and produce more results by the time he gets started. The average person spends 80% of the total energy while the successful person reaped 80% of the results. Using the 80-20 rule correctly will help you identify where most of your time, energy, or money should go for the best possible results. It will allow you to set goals and the tasks necessary to reach them. This rule won't be useful for you if you don't know how to apply it in your life. So here's what you should do. Start by setting goals. Pause this video and quickly look at your life. What are your goals? Daily, weekly, or even monthly? Do you even have goals? What is the first thing you do in the morning? What is the last thing you do at night? How are these actions shaping your life? Is the current version of yourself better than who you were six months ago? Will you be any better in the next six months if you continue on your current path? Answering these questions will help you pinpoint how you've been spending your time and if you should stay that way. After evaluating your life, proceed to write down your goals and list them in their order of importance. What are the top goals on your list that bring you the most sense of fulfillment? These are the things that should be taking your time. For example, if your goal is to become a better singer, then spending 5 to 20 minutes on warm-ups and voice training exercises every morning will yield better results than spending all day trying to mimic other singers. Identifying which goals mean more for you will by default help you to focus more on them. 
When outlining your goals, it is important to split them into any of the four following categories. High effort, high reward. High effort, low reward. Low effort, low reward. Low effort, high reward. Your ultimate goal should be to focus on items in the low effort, high reward quadrant. For example, spending 10 minutes to exercise in the morning is seemingly a low effort task, but it will yield significant improvements in productivity during the day and overall health. Take action. It's not enough to set goals. You need to back your 80-20 goals with 80-20 actions. What steps do you need to take to get the desired results? Having an actionable plan with low effort steps will give you a clear path to follow and help you stay focused. It is advisable to start with small aspects of your life to boost your morale. So, what did you think of this video? Are you already applying the 80-20 rule? Let us know in the comments below.